What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on MMTLP stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart, but I have to say that we are exactly at the same spot uh, where we were previously. And uh, in my fundamental analysis, I will show you why we are here and why we have a lot of controversial information from different sources. And uh, basically, we have uh, a rug pull uh, that made by FINRA, probably. And at the end of this video, I will uh, share my thoughts and I will show you what should we expect next uh, from this situation. So, stay tuned. And... Uh, First of all, let me show you that, uh, as I already mentioned, we are exactly at the same spot uh, when we were on uh, December the 8th. Uh, we don't have any trading uh, activity on December the 9th, uh, on uh, basically this Friday. And I have to say that uh, it was uh, quite unexpected. But on the other hand, uh, it is uh, just uh, a technical uh, action that was made by FINRA. And uh, let me show you why it is uh, happening. Uh, first of all, let me show you this article. We are on Investor Place and uh, it was published just 12 hours ago. And it says, halted stocks alert. Why did FINRA halt MMTLP stock? And the key bullets are following. Some shareholders are angry as trading in MMTLP stock is halted ahead of Metamaterials plant spin-off next bridge hydrocarbons. MMTLP stock is currently the company's preferred shares, but uh, FINRA has since halted trading in this instrument. After the spin-off, it appears uh, as uh, though preferred stock uh, for metamaterials will be cancelled. And let me show you this information. FINRA confirmed uh, the trading halt this morning on its over-the-counter equities uh, list. It has been given the halt code U3, indicating that it uh, predates an extraordinary event. So far, the actions uh, all seem to be above board, with no illegal activities. So, it is quite interesting to see this halt code and let me show you the official FINRA uh, website. You can see right here that we have 152 results uh, uh, of uh, the halted trades and only one stock was halted uh, with U3 halt code. It is an extraordinary event. And uh, why it is happening? First of all, let me show you the information uh, deeper from the past. Uh, right here we are still on Investor Place, but it is uh, the article that was published uh, three days ago. And right here we have uh, the info we had the information. Shareholders of MMTLP who sell their shares on or before December the 12th will not be eligible for the spin-off. Shareholders who sell their shares after December 12th but before December 14th will be required to transfer their shares of next bridge to the buyer of MMTLP shares. So this means uh, this uh, uh, date, uh, the being between these two dates, uh, we had uh, an opportunity to basically receive the shares, but the owner of these shares should be the person or the legal entity who buys uh, these shares uh, in between uh, December the 12th and December 14th. But the most recent information that I covered yesterday, uh, it was an update from FINRA, and let me quote you this. MMTLP shareholders with settled position as of uh, December the 12th will receive one share of next bridge hydrocarbons for every one share of MMTLP held. So, it is uh, pretty much straightforward. But the next uh, sentence uh, is the key sentence for the entire situation. Purchases of MMTLP executed after December the 8th will not receive the distribution. And uh, on top of that, uh, they added MMTLP will be deleted effective December 13th. So, this means uh, people who bought shares uh, from December the 8th basically will lose their money because uh, the only purpose of MMTLP shares is uh, to uh, give uh, the shareholders uh, the ability to own a new company, Next Bridge Hydrocarbons. But with this update, it means people who buy the stock after uh, December the 8th uh, will not receive any distribution. This means uh, on December 13th they will lose the entire amount of their money. And definitely this uh, brings a lot of fear on the market. And this means uh, we have this harsh sell-off of MMTLP stock. 
but you might wonder why it is started uh, before uh, December the 8th. And it is quite simple. Uh, on uh, one of my previous videos I've told you that you have to keep in mind the T plus 2 rule. And it is very important rule, let me show it to you. For most stock trades, uh, settlement occurs two business days after the day order executes or T plus 2, trade date plus 2 days. For example, if you were to execute an order on Monday, it would typically settle on Wednesday. And on top of that, uh, we have a weekend uh, basically on these dates and this means we have another rule. Does T plus 2 include weekends? And uh, T plus 2 rule settlement cycle means that the final settlement of uh, transactions done on T. For example, trade day by exchange of monies and securities between the buyers and the sellers respectively takes uh, place uh, on second business day, excluding Saturdays, Sundays, bank and exchange uh, trading holidays after the trade day. And this means uh, we had uh, the uh, deadline for the MMTLP stock uh, set uh, on uh, December the 12th. But uh, we have uh, uh, basically a weekend, two days, and we have T plus 2 rule. In our case we have to uh, have a T minus 2 rule. And this means uh, uh, the December the 8th uh, was the deadline for this stock. And a lot of people want to buy the rumors but sell the news and uh, that's why they started to dump these shares uh, right before December the 8th and that's why we have this harsh activity. So and what should we expect next? I have to say that uh, in my opinion it is a quite interesting situation because uh, FINRA had to halt these trades but according to some rumors uh, we might uh, see this halt uh, basically till the end of uh, uh, December the 12th and this means uh, uh, a lot of people will basically lose their money in this stock uh, because they cannot uh, sell this stock uh, by any means and this means uh, I think uh, it is some kind of rug pull uh, made by FINRA and probably we have to wait for the official statement from FINRA or probably even from Security and Exchange Commission. Because uh, in my opinion it is an outstanding uh, situation that uh, should be settled uh, by authorities. That's why uh, I have to say that uh, we have to passionately wait uh, for the official clarifications uh, from uh, FINRA or SEC. And right after that we will be able uh, to make a decision what should we do with uh, this uh, situation. And uh, if you want to stay in line with all the news, just subscribe to my channel because I will try to do my best in order to follow this situation. And if you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack, border rocks